Welcome back. We are live, large and in charge on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Now, we all know that life is all about a balancing act. It's all, it always feels like there's never enough hours in a day to do what you have to do. So then what happens when you add raising children to that and then studying for an MBA? Add that to your daily to-do list and then it can become quite stressful. And today we've got the Dean of the Henley Business School, John Foster Pedley, to share some advice on how to do both quite successfully. Sir, a pleasure to have you. How are you? Great, thanks, Kat. Lovely to be here. What a studio. Such a vibe here. <laughs> we love it. We, yeah, we love great. giving that energy, yeah. the feel-good yeah. vibe. So let's talk about, you know, it, it can obviously be very, very tricky studying for an MBA. You're a parent, you're married, you have children. Uh, so how do you prioritize each of these to do them well and then also include the fact of looking after yourself? Well, that's a very good thing. It starts with you. I mean, they're clearly MBA to Marriage Breakup Academy, don't they? <laughs> just, oh, I can't have that. Why should an MBA, why should education damage family and children? It's crazy. Good educators should design MBAs that are not the opposite, not marriage, you know, not making babies academies, no. but somewhere in between, you know. <laughs> so actually what we need is an MBA and a study process that allows families to be part of it. And half of our students are women anyway, so they're, you know, the, it's a balance of people on, on, on the MBA, so mm. we're trying to create a family-friendly MBA process. Yeah. So what advice then do you have for, for parents that are wanting to take on this, I guess, monumental challenge? Because an MBA is a challenge. Let's, let's put that to the side. It's a huge challenge. You've got your life and then you, you know, you've got your job and then you throw an MBA in that. You're juggling those. Yeah. First thing to do is choose an MBA that's flexible, that allows you to spread the MBA time over a bit of time, like a couple of years or two, three years. And there are a few MBAs that do that. Yes. The second thing is include your partner and plan, 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 plan. We run a program called the Family Friendly Program where we bring partners in. We bring the, the wives and the husbands in. And if it's gay partners, we bring partners together and we talk about how we can balance the MBA by creating a, an environment that allows the families to thrive within it. And we have sessions with, I know we've got Nikki Bush on the program. Yes, right? yes, we do. We do. Well, Nikki Bush expert. comes in. Yeah, she comes and does programs for us. So we talk about resilient parenting, positive parenting good project management because mm -hmm. actually the MBA is the largest project you'll take on for a long time. Wow. And so in terms of there being some kind of management tips that you can share with our viewers out there who are, once again, thinking of taking this on, what, what tips do you have to give them that kickstart to say, well, you are able to do it. This is your to-do list. This is what you need to do to manage yourself. Well, firstly, don't surprise anybody. You can do a lot of time <laughs> sharing information. Put little schedules up on the loo walls and on your fridge and everywhere. Yeah. Let sure that everybody knows what you're doing and when. Then understand the MBA, apart from the schedule it has, it has its ups and downs. The first exam you're going to do, it might be the last exam in your life, by the way, wow. is really stressful. So warn people that's happening. And so talk to, the, talk to your family, talk to the children, get them to come into the school and spend a lot of time really engaging with them. Make it a positive experience for the family, because yes. that's what it is. And one of the biggest skills you have to learn in life anyway is how to create a balanced life with your family. Absolutely. So it's nuts to create sociopathic leaders who are destroying their families for their careers. Why are we doing that? Absolutely. Yeah. Tell me quickly before we, we go about what is it, a, what attracts people to this qualification, this MBA? Well, I think people always want to do a master's degree in business. It has this sort of power veneer about it, but that's really historic. Now, an MBA is, is a good set of skills for anybody who wants to run big businesses or even your own business. Yes. And the other thing we, that attracts people to it is their own personal development, because you actually spend a lot of time with really interesting people from different industries. I mean, we have a creative industry MBA. Absolutely. We've got Johnny Clegg's drummer. Barry Fansale doing that, John Fismus, the comedian, is doing it, Name Member McLean, who's a performing artist, is doing that, Peter Ndoro, you wow. know, yeah, is doing wow. that. So we have a, okay. an MBA for creativity as well. So, so look for an MBA that's going to inspire you. And I'm inspired right now. I might just be signing up for class. Right, so thank you very, very much for visiting, yeah. visiting us this morning. And I think we've kind of set it all out. We, we can all do it. If you can have more faith in you being able to do those things that you've always wanted to challenge yourself in. And if you'd like more information on the family-friendly MBA course offered by the Henley Business School, you can visit www.henleysa.ac.za. All right, now it's